This year when I think about what pride means to me, one word comes to mind, bravery. I want to share with you a quote from one of my favorite TV shows, Queen of Sugar. In it, the character of Nova writes, bravery is a word assigned to champions of industry and war, to soldiers on the battlefield, but we can reclaim it and assign it to ourselves. To stand up for what's right in this world is brave. To stand up for yourself in this world is braver. To stand up for others before yourself is the bravest thing one can do. First, we must never forget that we as a community are where we are today because of the bravery of those that came before us. May we continue to do brave and bring up those behind us. Number two, one of the things that all of us in the LGBT community have in common is our story. All of us have that moment when we summon the bravery to tell those that we love who we really are. Let's continue to do the work necessary to provide the space and the bravery to others to do the same. Number three, this year especially, we need to summon the bravery to say that yes, black lives do matter. And we need to see the intersection of that community and ours, and to say very loudly and boldly that black, gay, and trans lives matter especially. Let us never forget that our work is never done. And let's continue with bravery. Happy Pride. What pride means to me. Pride means absolutely everything to me. It means not having to apologize just for being me. Celebrating pride means being able to reflect on my life's journey and be proud of all I've accomplished. It means, hey, I'm trans, I'm queer, and I don't care if you don't like it because I like it. Pride is me being able to walk down the street with my colored hair, colored nails, and rainbow shoes, and knowing that absolutely no one can stop me from being my most authentic self. Pride is all about representation and being a positive example in today's society for all generations to come. It's about loving yourself, being loved for who you are, and continuing to choose love no matter the circumstance. It's about showing kids, hey, I can be gay and a doctor, or I can be trans and president of the United States. It's about showing that you can still live your life as big as your dreams because being queer or being different only makes you stronger and should never stop you from being whoever you want to be. When I think of pride, I automatically think of Stonewall and how far we've come and how progressive our community will continue to be. Pride lets me honor those who came before me and created the safe space I get to live in today. It's about thanking my older trans brothers and sisters for setting the stage so the younger generations can perform harder than ever before. Pride is about continuing to be loud and proud for those who no longer have a voice. It's about continuing the fight our LGBTQIA plus ancestors started and not stopping until there is no more judgment, not stopping until trans people aren't being murdered anymore, and not stopping because love will always overpower hate. Pride is about new beginnings, being able to learn the most about myself and expressing myself as nothing less than who I truly am. Oakland is specifically important to me when celebrating pride because this is where I chose to be baptized. This is where I fully devoted myself and all of my queerness to Jesus Christ. It meant living my past life, leaving my past life in the past and starting a new age of acceptance for myself. Oakland was the first real safe space I ever had. It's where I met my forever family. And for that, I am forever grateful to God for leading me into a church where I'm celebrated just for being myself. Pride is about having all the faith in God to know that this is how He created me and everything will be okay because no one should ever have to feel ashamed of showing the world who they really are. And that is what pride means to me. We pride Oakland UMC. May we take this time to remember all the things we have accomplished and everything that we still yet have to accomplish, which is quite a bit until we have equal rights. I would encourage you to read The Tinderbox, The Untold Story of the Upstairs Lounge Buyer um, in New Orleans that took place 47 years ago on the 24th of this month. Um, it has quite a bit of history about the rise of gay liberation and shows what still needs to be accomplished. Once again, happy Pride. 
this is Margaret and Roger Anderson, and what is important to us, uh, particularly uh, in these times, uh, and is exemplified by pride, and that is to recognize humanity, support uh, love among humanity, uh, and that comes in many different forms. Uh, what is important to us, uh, having found Oak Lawn, is that it emphasizes that all, no matter who you are, where you come from, uh, or what your circumstances are, are welcome, uh, that you're loved, uh, and they truly uh, not just say it, uh, but they act on it. And given everything that's happening in the, uh, in the world and in the country uh, at this time, uh, anything that uh, is supportive of that uh, needs to be recognized and celebrated. Um, and that, uh, that's uh, what's important to us. Of course, I agree with everything that Roger has said. And we look forward to marching in the uh, Pride Parade next year and helping at Oak Lawn with, with all of those fun activities. And we're grateful to be a part of this wonderful church and to be there with all of you who are watching. And we look forward to being able to be together again and sitting in the new sanctuary. And I want you to know that we're, we're proud of, of everyone who's watching. And we love you and we'll see you soon. God bless all of you. Bye-bye. Hi, Oak Lawn. Stephanie here. Happy Pride. Um, what does Pride mean to me? It's, an, it's a chance and it's a reminder for me to share um, histories and to learn histories that I don't know about that I haven't been taught. I think it's a real, um, maybe luxury isn't the right word. It's a, it's a shortcoming and it's a, a flaw that I'm missing so much important history that I, I just wasn't taught. So it's up to me to learn it now as an adult and to share it with my daughter and here's one thing that I got a couple years ago to share with her and it's a book called Pride and it's by Rob Sanders. I'm going to show you the cover. It's Pride, the story of Harvey Milk and the rainbow flag. Um, I shared this with Natalie two years ago. We bought it when she was seven and it's just beautifully illustrated by Stephen Salerno. I'm going to show you one of the spreads inside. Here's one of the early pages and it's lovely. It says, Harvey Milk was an ordinary man, but he had an extraordinary dream. That dream would change history. And here's another two-page spread. It says, Harvey and the people asked for equality. They asked to be treated like everyone else. They asked to live in love as they pleased. They hoped the march would make a difference. So thanks for this little reminder to celebrate Pride at my house this weekend in the very tail end of June. Um, it, it nudged me to figure out another thing to share this year with my daughter and um, I found a, a information about a documentary online called The Most Dangerous Year. And um, so I'm going to put that on Amazon Prime tonight and uh, learn something and, and share something and, and have some time with my nine-year-old to talk about history. Queer people don't grow up as ourselves. We grow up playing a version of ourselves that sacrifices authenticity to minimize humiliation and prejudice. The massive task of our adult lives is to unpick which parts of ourselves are truly us and which parts we've created to protect us. Pride is not letting myself feel vilified or ridiculed for loving who I love. It's holding hands with my wife in public. It's proudly sharing a kiss in line at the movies and it's building a life with her and experiencing every milestone with unabashed joy. Pride is unlearning internalized homophobia and leaving behind every reason I thought I was unlovable to begin with. It's recognizing that I have every right to be here as everyone else. Pride is being so confident in who I am that people can't help but look at me and think, wow, I want to be that sure of myself. Pride is making certain that there is visibility for all queer people and that those not yet out have someone to look up to. Someone to show them that they do not have to live within the confines of what society expects of them. Pride is what liberation looks like. Pride is a beautiful celebration of the human spirit. 
It's remembering all of those that came before us and made it possible for us to live this freely. Marsha P. Johnson famously said, there's no pride for some of us without liberation for all of us. And that's why this pride in particular, it's especially important for us to remember that while we celebrate and while we truly do the act of resistance of loving ourselves for who we are, we remember that the fight isn't over, that we need to keep standing up and showing up for the people that aren't being treated fairly right now. We need to say Black Lives Matter and Black Trans Lives Matter and show up for our brothers and sisters that aren't being treated as such. Pride is also the powerful statement of community coming together and showing up for one another. I remember growing up before I had come out yet and shown my true colors. Every time I saw a pride flag or people embracing or just living their authentic lives, I was so proud to know that one day I was gonna have a home in this community. And even though I wasn't ready yet, all of those people, whether they knew it or not, told me that I was important. They told me that there was nothing wrong with me being who I am and for loving who I love. So I wave my pride flag for myself as resistance, but also for all of those that are able to come out yet. Just know that I see you and we're here whenever you're ready. And if you're not, just know that you're important and we love you. I consider myself to be an ally in training for the LGBTQ community and for persons of color. I say ally in training because I have much to learn and I have not paid my dues yet. I feel honored to be a part of Oak Lawn. I feel proud of the pastors of Oak Lawn and the ministry that they do. For too long, same-sex loving people have felt shamed, rejected, and shunned by the church. We know the consequences. Men marry women that they cannot fully love, leading eventually to heartbreak for a whole family. Teenagers who have been made to feel unworthy by the church attempt and commit suicide. Enough is enough. Two people who are mature enough to make the decision and who love each other and want to build a life together should be affirmed, accepted, and embraced by the church. True love is of God and helps us understand God's love. Hey, Oakland, and happy Pride. Uh, it's Leela. Um, so why is Pride important to me? Uh, the first thing that comes to my mind and my heart when I hear that um, is the people that I love that are members of the LGBTQIA plus community, my many friends and family members, people that have impacted my life, changed my life, and meant and mean so much to me throughout my entire life. Um, so, you know, it's important to me for that reason, for sure. Um, another reason is that I believe as a straight cisgendered female, um, it's really important for me to be uh, a vocal ally. And not only that, but to lift um, other voices and be used, not that I have a platform, but just use my space to lift other voices and to listen and to learn and to help others to listen and to learn. Um, obviously above all, I believe in equality and equal rights. And so along with what I just said, I think I have a duty to use the privilege that I have to stand up and fight for that. Um, and then of course, pride is, above all about fun and love and there to me um any gathering that is so founded and full of love is a gathering of god um and any movement or you know even if it's you know a virtual gathering or just a belief like it's so full of love it's that it's just so full of god and i just think that that's something that's so important and that um it's just one of one of, if not the greatest things about Pride. So thank you for listening. <laughs> Happy Pride again. In 
honor of Pride Month, I'm going to tell you my coming out story. It was fun, let me tell you. So I had started talking to this super nice girl and over the phone, she asked me if I was out. Okay, at the time, age 24, I actually didn't know what that was. I had no idea. Um, so I was just like, yeah, because you know, I was at the store. So I'm like, yeah, I'm out. Like I'm out of the house. And she was like, good, because I can't date anyone that's not out. And I was like, okay. Didn't think anything of it. Okay, well, like six months later, it's my son's third birthday. And, um, well, I invited her. And somewhere in there, she asked me, so you're sure you're out since I'm coming to your family's birthday? And I was like, wait, there's more to this. So I did some research and I found out that I was not out. So guys, I did this really quick phone call thing where I called people and I was like, hey, guess what? Um, I'm gay and I have a girlfriend. She's gonna be at the party, be nice, bye. And I hung up the phone and the people I couldn't reach, I like met them out at the car and I was like, hey, uh, by the way, and I was just like, they won't ruin my son's party. They'll all get over it. And um, some were happy, some were not, but they all came to the party and it was just fine. Um, acceptance is still something that I struggle with. And that is why I love Oaklawn area so much and Oaklawn United Methodist Church. This is one place I don't have to worry about acceptance. Being an um, all-inclusive area and an all-inclusive church, it makes me really happy to be part of it. Happy Pride, Oaklawn. We are blessed to be among such beautiful people here. Inclusive, caring, loving. A special part about Oaklawn is that inclusiveness isn't just part of a mission statement. It's a way of living and doing as a church and in our community. Celebrating Pride is special because it reminds us that we have the freedom to love. And Oaklawn is special because we all share that unconditional love. We let love continue, as we say. It's not just a tagline. When I think about our open doors, our open minds, and our open hearts, it embodies how we care, how we serve, and how we live as disciples. Jesus taught that we have to love our neighbor just as we love ourselves. And our inclusiveness in serving our community, our open doors during winter and summer shelters, our trans clothing swap, Pastor Rachel's work to change the rules that govern our denomination. I can't even begin to talk about all the things that we do to embody inclusiveness, but these are just some of the blessings that we are grateful for and get to celebrate at Oak Lawn during Pride. Today, this month, and all year long. Thank you for welcoming a guy that had a hard time answering a call 20 years ago who found a place here at Oak Lawn that I feel loved and supported unconditionally. I love you all for that. Happy Pride. Pride is important to me because it's um, a reminder of how far we've come and it's a celebration of humanity and it's a celebration of all those who've come before us who have fought for LGBTQ rights and who have sacrificed and who have risked their lives um, to create more opportunities and freedoms for gay people today. And I think it's really important that we remember that the pride and, and the Stonewall riots, all of this was started by black trans women and, 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 and non gender non-conforming people of color. We would not be where we are today um, without those without those people and I think it's important to remember that as well. Um, pride is also important to me because it's a celebration of my life and that I matter. I matter as a gay man. The first pride I went to um, was a few years ago before coming out and it was a crucial step in me coming out because it was it was a place that I felt for the first time seeing the love and the community and the celebration of queerness I'd never seen a display like that and realizing that there were spaces here in this city um, truly that um, 
are supportive and 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 and, and not just accepting, but 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 that celebrate who you are and every part of you. Um, and, and being out there with Union um, and right there on the lawn of, of, of the church, it was like this world of bringing like my, 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 my faith and the church world into the gay community. And I'd, I'd never had these two worlds interacting before. And it was, it was powerful and it, it made me feel a little, a little safer um, to take those steps and to finally coming out very soon thereafter. So, um, it is also, it is also, I, I, I first came out during a pride, during a pride two years ago. So it's also significant, um, for me in that it's a celebration of, of, of me and, and, and me being me and, um, and living a full happy life. Pride's important to me because it's a symbol of hope. Um, hope for me that my new nephew born to my sister and her wife could be uh, surrounded by a world that doesn't discriminate based on his uh, gender identity or sexual orientation. Um, it gives me hope that the future is going to look better than the past. It gives me hope that there are more people in the world and in our country who are on the side of love and acceptance than are on the side of ignorance and um, division. It gives me hope that things are getting better. It gives me hope that people can live their lives the way that they were created to live them and born to live them. Um, it, gives me hope that I'm not alone in how I want to love people and how I want my um, friends and family to be able to love uh, their people. Um, I'm just so thankful that we've had so many come before us who have made pride of movement um, of love and hope and um, acceptance and have been so vocal that now I get to be a part of it too. And a statement out there of how I really feel um, and the more of us that have done that I think the safer place that we've created for everybody. Um, happy Pride everyone! Why Pride? 30 years ago I took a chance on joining a company that was working with um, patients that were in the end stages of AIDS back in the early 90s when AIDS was a pandemic and was the crisis. And that was probably one of the most transformational experiences in my life. Um, through that company, I was introduced to two gay colleagues that eventually became very dear friends that taught me what it means to be gay. More importantly, they taught me what being gay is not. It's not a choice. It's not a political statement. It's not a perversion, a flight of fancy, and it's non-negotiable. Instead, I learned that being gay means to find purpose and meaning in life, in your profession, to find a partner to share life with, and all of the experiences that come with it, to enjoy family, to be Christian, to love, and to be loved. So I am a proud ally. I am the proud mother of a gay man, and I am grateful to have had my life transformed 30 years ago. Hello, Oakline. Happy Pride. Um, it's Joey. Uh, as a cis straight male, um, I think it's important for me um, to acknowledge my role um, in the LGBTQIA plus community. Um, as an ally, I think it's really important for me to utilize my privileges to educate others, but also um, and more importantly, to listen to the voices from the community. Um, and I feel like Oakland is one of those places where they have amplified those voices. Um, we don't just listen, um, we choose to amplify those voices. So um, ultimately, I think that pride is a celebration of love and hope. 
Um, and so to celebrate pride is to celebrate love and to celebrate love is to celebrate God. So I feel like there's a cohesive piece to all of this um, concerning Christianity and uh, who we are as Oakline United Methodist. Hello and happy pride from uh, the household of Gary Walden and Christopher Crane. Um, so we wanted to share with you what pride means to us. Uh, some of you are friends of mine on Facebook and I posted something about that last night. Um, talking about changing the uh, changing our de inner definition of ourselves from shame into pride and to me that's what pride is all about um, I remember uh, many times in my life uh, difficult times in my young life where I felt such shame about being gay and being who I am and uh, uh, so to celebrate pride once a year was so significant to me because I could, I could let go of the shame and change it into, into being proud of myself. And it took a long time to get there, honestly. Um, uh, it took many, many years of attending pride and being part of pride to really, for me to really get it. Um, and I hope that younger people have that experience when they uh, participate in Pride. And I just wanted to talk about uh, one of my favorite Pride memories. And that was uh, in 1995. Uh, I had just came out uh, the year before. And uh, my mom and I joined the Fort Worth chapter of PFLAG. And we marched in the Dallas Pride Parade along with PFLAG in 1995. And so not only was it my first Pride Parade or first participation in anything like that, um, it was my first time to march. And I did it a few times after that. And it was my experience that day and my experience the other times that I marched that P flag always got some of the loudest cheers and um, and applause and um, just people coming up and hugging the moms and the dads and crying and you would cry with them and it was a really uh, meaningful experience and one that I will always remember and will always treasure and um, I also think that churches like ours um, are so vital and so important because they embrace everyone, including the LGBT community. Um, and that is so important because it, it really speaks to what Christianity is supposed to be, which is love and acceptance. So thank you very much and happy pride happy pride so why do i celebrate pride i celebrate pride because the more i do the less that i fear and the less that i fear the less power oppressors have against me i celebrate pride because i don't want to be scared of putting a pride flag on my house just because of the, the fear that somebody driving by may see it and have a vengeance just because of it. I celebrate pride because I have that ability to do so now as openly as I do. It's because of the people behind me who fought for this. And there's a group of people out there who can't take that pride flag down when they're scared. They wear it on their skin. And I celebrate pride because it is a fight for those who are marginalized. And there's a big one right now. These people can't take down that pride flag. So for those of us in the pride community that have the ability to see what this amazing feeling is being open is, we need to turn that into a fight. 
for the people of color who can't take off their pride flag. That's why I celebrate pride. Hola, ¿cómo están, familia? Nosotros somos las chicas Vázquez, uh, Betsy Vázquez, mi esposa Rosaura Vázquez, y nos pidieron que hiciéramos un video en el cual uh, digamos o expresemos qué significa el orgullo para nosotras. Para mí en lo personal, eh, es una manera de dar gracias por todas esas luchas que se han hecho a favor de, de, de lo, del orgullo, a favor de los, eh, todas esas, todos esos beneficios que ahorita yo puedo este, eh, ser uh, portador o portadora, eh, beneficiaria de, de todas esas cosas que, que, que son posibles gracias a, al esfuerzo de otras personas, como por ejemplo, el poder casarme legalmente con mi esposa, el poder este, pasar por todo un proceso legal en el cual uh, mi esposa pueda estar aquí en Estados Unidos eh, legalmente, disfrutar de todos esos este, eh, beneficios que, que traen lo que es la residencia legal en, en, en los Estados Unidos poder practicar eh, libremente mi, mi convicción de fe, poder asistir a una iglesia metodista y ser identificada como, como líder pastoral. Eh, y gracias, es gracias a todo ese esfuerzo que, que, que personas eh, de, de mi misma comunidad LGBT T y demás han, este, han hecho y en, en uh, conjunto con todos esos aliados que se han este, eh, agregado a la causa. Y, y pues este, para mí es de, eh, es de gran importancia, suma, suma importancia el, el poder dar una, una voz a este mes tan importante que es el, que es el mes de junio, que alrededor del mundo se, se celebra ese, ese orgullo, ese, ese orgullo de, de ser diferente, ese orgullo de, de celebrar la diversidad y también este, la importancia que es el que celebremos esa diversidad, eh, eh, no en el closet, sino a puertas abiertas. Ay, creo que es, es importante. Uh, eh, yo estoy muy agradecida porque Uh, por otras personas yo he sido beneficiar y veo que tenemos el beneficio no nada más yo y Betsy pero todos los que estamos eh, como los que somos gay uh, antes no se nos daban los beneficios y de alguna manera nos afligíamos o nos quejábamos el día de hoy los tenemos todos los beneficios así es de que Creo que uh, es un regalo y que deber, debemos de tomar provecho de ese regalo. Solamente, no solamente para nosotras, pero así podemos ayudar a muchas más personas. Y uh, creo que uh, vemos personas que no, no tomamos esa bendición. Como, bueno, yo la tomo como una bendición. Y... Yo les recomiendo que lo hagan para poder ayudar a, a muchas más personas porque es así, así podemos ayudar a más personas. Y más que nada es ir pavimentando ese, ese futuro que queremos ver en, en, en generaciones. Eh, ¿Qué es lo que queremos que nuestros hijos, que nuestros nietos, que, que esas generaciones que vienen detrás de nosotros aprendan? y eh, de, de este camino que nosotros estamos haciendo, pero también, eh, ¿qué es lo que les queremos dejar a ellos? What Pride means to me is a celebration of all the brave men and women who came out to their friends and coworkers and family for generations and stood up for equality. And so we celebrate them and we celebrate all the people who continue um, to do the same. Hi, my name is Alyssa Robinson and as an ally, I celebrate Pride because some of the people that I love most and that I consider to be family are in the LGBTQIA plus community. So I'm so grateful to be a part of the church that loves everyone for the person that they are. 
Thank you, Oakland, for celebrating Pride with us this year.